Hi there, this is Sunil from Sunil Chahan Creative Web Consulting. This is a Photoshop tutorial and in this tutorial I am going to show you how to create a realistic billboard advertisement design mockup. So what you will be able to learn in this tutorial is that you can basically put your design designs created for billboard advertisement onto an actual billboard and see for yourself how it looks in perspective. So what I have here is a billboard mockup on which I have got my design that I have already created in Photoshop. The way this works is when you click on this smart, uh, smart object here, double click on this, it gets open in, into the next tab and on this in, the, in this tab you can see I have put my graphic here simply by dragging and placing it in here and then sizing it to fit the canvas like this okay so once it fits the canvas you can just simply press uh, save on on this smart object layer and close it and when you are back in in here you can see your uh, design actually fits the perspective of this uh, billboard uh, canvas here so this is uh, how, what we are going to learn basically to design a mockup where, where, wherein we can uh, replace this canvas of the billboard every time with, uh, with the new design that we have so that we can have the realistic view of how our, our design is actually going to look in the realistic scenario of the billboard. So let's get started by creating this billboard mockup for ourselves so that we can, every, uh, so that we can replace the design we have here with our own new design every time we want to see how it looks on the bill billboard so first thing i want to do is i want to delete all these layers that i have already created previously and start afresh from the blank canvas here so basically i have got uh, this image of a billboard uh, billboard canvas basically billboard uh, canvas here uh, you'll be able to download this image from the links down below in the description description section to follow along in this tutorial so the first thing we, we want to do is we want to create a placeholder layer so Control shift n to create a placeholder layer i'll call it a placeholder layer and press ok afterwards we want to create a placeholder for our billboard by using the marquee tool here I would just create a rectangle to basically match try to match the exact dimension we, we cannot basically match the exact dimensions because because the perspective are not same but we can try to just see how, how much it would be so this is how much I am getting right now and I'm going to fill this uh, rectangle marquee uh, selection with a color that is 50% gray which is basically in the middle of all the colors that we want so uh, the color is going to be 808080 808080 80, 80, 80, 80, or basically I want to use 808080 80, which is an RGB value of 128 by 128 128 okay so that's the color we want to use to fill this marquee selection here I will use control backspace to fill this marquee selection and then control deselect to deselect the selection that I have created here and now I have got this basically the placeholder layer filled in gray so next thing I want to do is I want to click on this uh, placeholder layer and then right click and convert it to smart object so once uh, it is converted to smart object I would do a control T to have the bounding box uh, on my to have the bounding box on my uh, rectangle here and then press control and click and drag any of the handles like for instance uh, right uh, bottom left bottom uh, left bottom sorry to make sure that this 
rectangle actually comes in, into the perspective of the canvas of the billboard so what i am doing is uh, still holding the control key and then trying to fit the bounding boxes of this uh, rectangle gray rectangle to match it with the perspective of the billboard canvas make sure that you have more selection don't worry we'll do it we'll do the precise selection using pen tool afterwards so right now i i just want to cover more of this uh, canvas here just making sure that i am in perspective of the canvas there you go once you have set this uh, gray rectangle into the perspective press enter the next thing that i want to do is i want to make sure that i have the precise selection of this canvas i want to precisely select this canvas here so that we do not flow out of this canvas uh, when we import any image uh, or design from external uh, source so i have already created a selection using pen tool you can take your time and uh, select it's not that complicated you can use pen tool to select this or any other quick selection tool to uh, make a selection so this is the selection that i have already made using pen tool and i just want to make selection using this uh, pen tool shape here and click ok and that loads in the selection uh, for this canvas here once the selection has been loaded i want to go into the, into my placeholder layer here and activate it and then click a mask layer mask here by pressing this layer mask button here and that creates a precise selection so once the precise selection has been made we can simply double click here and this will open up the smart object and thereafter we can simply select this design of ours and put it onto the placeholder layer and then control t to transform the this design onto this canvas just resizing this uh, design onto the canvas and then press enter and press control s to save the placeholder layer and then once you are back into the uh, into this billboard mockup here you can see that your design is in perspective now so we are not yet uh, done here because uh, we want to make sure that we uh, we don't just have the image uh, in here but we have the texture of the background layer which, which you can see here onto the uh, superimposed on top of that image so right now if you uh, if i click here you can see that there is no texture of that billboard uh, which would actually make it realistic uh, to look at so that is what we are going to do the, uh, next so follow along with me by creating a copy of this uh, layer two times control j control j to create two copies of this layer one i will call a uh, shadow layer and other i will call light layer so we are basically going to play around with the lights and the shadow of uh, this image here so i want to move it on top here on top of this placeholder layer and we base since we want to play with the shadow we don't basically need colors of uh, this image here so so i'll just desaturate the image by pressing control shift u and basically turning off the layer here just uh, working uh, with the shadow layer i have just desaturated the shadow layer by pressing control shift uh, u and now 
next thing I want to do is I don't want to desaturate the entire image I just want to desaturate the canvas so to do that I just want to press alt and move this mask layer onto this shadow layer that gives me desaturation on onto this uh, canvas only so that I can play around with the shadows here so next thing that I want to do is I want to change the blend mode of this shadow layer here from normal to darken no not to darken but to multiply because that will basically blend it with the background here and give me some shadows uh, darker shadows here basically so if you are not satisfied with uh, with the shadows uh, you can always use curves adjustment layer here on this uh, on top of this layer and then i just use clipping tool here to so that uh, the curve adjustment layer is only applied to this shadows layer and then maybe increase some sh more sh uh, shadows by dragging this down here dragging this down here a bit more that looks fine to me now let's play around with the light layer i just don't want uh, the entire colors here so i will uh, des desaturate the lights layer control shift u to desaturate it and then again i just want the desaturation on just the canvas not the entire uh, image so i can copy alt and move press alt and move this layer marks on top of this light layer let me just i uh, accidentally moved the layer mask from the curves layer so i just want to move the layer mask from the shadows layer here Con alt and move it on top of the light layer here so you get to work with the lights on uh, light on this canvas so if you want to work with the light you basically want to use lighten anything any layer in the lighten mode so i'll use color dodge here because that gives me good results and you can now start to see that we are getting the texture of the texture in the image here basically the texture of the billboard if you have a look closer look here in the maximized size you can see the texture here so now you can again add some curves layer here to lighten it even further so one thing i want to do is just do a clipping mask here so that it applies only to the lights layer and then click a point here and click another point here and then maybe drag it down a bit a bit like this much that looks fine to me okay so we have basically got this done and we can select from here to the shadow layer here and create a group of its own and basically if you don't want to use layer mask multiple time you can just use it only once in a group so i'll just delete the layer mask here and just delete the layer mask here again and use a common layer mask onto the group here that makes it that serves a purpose here basically so one more thing that you want to make sure is that you when you save this uh, layer save as you want to save it as bill po billboard b i l l b o a r d billboard dot p s d t not psd but psdt psdt stands for psd template so i'll explain what what it does so save it and 
this has been now saved as a PSD template. So what this PSDT serves, uh, the purpose that this PSDT serves is that this is now a PSD template and it will uh, remain uh, like this whenever you, you modify it. Like for instance, I open this PSDT. When you open this PSDT, it opens a untitled one document and not the not this billboard.psdt document so whatever changes you make in this uh, untitled one document it won't be overwritten here in the billboard.psdt so you have basically secured and this file will always remain with you no matter if you want to if you modified any of this uh, template with another graphics or anything so you can definitely save it as another file name but this particular billboard.psdt will always be there with you as a psd mockup psdt mockup for this billboard advertisement so that's it for from me now here i'll see you in my next tutorial thanks for watching bye bye